just like to take a couple of moments just to thank our new Patreon subscriber. Is that the word? Patron? They've given us some dosh. So thank you very much to Patreon user, a uh, user, that's a good word, uh, Patreon user Tixilix, which is, I believe, a cough medicine. Do you remember Liquifruta? I used to like that as a kid. Uh, but yeah, thank you Tixilix. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. If you'd like to uh, become a Patreon and get featured in a video, or even suggest a video, um, and then please visit our Patreon site. Um, the address is here on the screen, because I can never remember it. Uh, and it's also at the end of the video. Thanks then, here comes the video. Well today we're going to be looking at building up and painting a vinyl kit. And this is quite an old one, I think it's from about 1996-97. Uh, and it's the Phantom uh, Blade Runner Rick Deckard uh, model kit. So it comes in a very generic box. And you've got resin kits assembly, even though it's not a resin kit. And we've got some pictures of the other sort of kits they do. I remember these uh, when they came out, they were quite expensive. Uh, I got this one dirt cheap on eBay, it was 15 quid. Uh, so PVC and then paint in. Refer to the picture on the box. Yeah, I didn't tell you a lot. Let's have a look to see what we get. sheet as well, let me get that out. Okay, so let's have a look at the pieces. So the first thing I noticed about this kit was instead of one white metal gun, you get two, and someone's actually started painting one. Um, I'll get the other one. They're both exactly the same. So you get a head. Um, it's a weird likeness, this, from a side like that. We have to have some forge, you turn it. No, it's too thin. So I might have a go at heating this up and trying to bulk the head out a bit. Uh, you get a very nice torso. You get the famous raincoat. Um, you get two arms. So one complete, one in two sections, and you get a pair of trues. So first thing we're going to do, after we've looked at the instructions, just have a quick look at these. So you get a certificate, a certificate of authenticity phantom, limited edition Deckard. So this is kit number 53 out of 500. That's not bad, is it? 53? Probably shouldn't make it really, but eh, I bought it to make, so. Metal part, so very, very simple instructions. My light's pulsing a bit, look at it. Energy saving bulb, it's not great. Uh, okay, let's pop that aside. So what we're gonna do is cut all the parts out first, and the way you do it, if you've never done a vinyl kit before, um, they're a little bit different to normal kits, resin or injection moulding. So what you've got to do is trim away all the excess uh, vinyl. And vinyl is very hard, uh, but when you heat it up, it becomes incredibly soft. Uh, and that's how you cut it. So you just need a scalpel with a sharp blade, a heat source. That could be some boiling water. Just dunk it in. Well, I'm going to use a hobby heat gun. So just a little heat gun. This one is the Crelande. Being watched. You all right? You enjoying it? What do you think of it so far? Oh, good. Bless her. She balances as well. So what I'm going to do is plug it all in, get it going, and uh, we'll have a little montage of cutting the bits out. So, uh, first job, warm up the parts. So I'm just going to well, help if I plugged it in, I suppose. I can't believe I just did that. Didn't plug it in. Let's 
try again. See how soft that gets, and then what we can do is when it's soft, we can cut it. Well, I'm going to change the blade. That's not sharp enough. Hold on. Okay. So you just trim it off, and then that will fit nicely in there. And we'll do all the rest of that. And what I'm going to try and do is widen this a bit by holding it while it cools off. Okay. And then that just fans it a little bit. I'm going to tr I'll keep trying it because each time you do it, it should uh, take it more. So uh, what I'm going to do now is do all of these, speed it up a bit. I just cut myself, changing my scalpel blade. So always be careful. I'm going to, uh, just off camera, trim this one up. It's a bit more complicated. We'll come back and have a look. Okay, all the parts are cut out. So I fatten the head just a bit. So it looks a little bit better. Um, the coat was a bit of a pain. Uh, just take your time on it if you've got one. Um, a heat gun's much nicer than hot water on this. I've still got to trim the, the bottom, but basically... That goes on there like that. Head goes on, arms goes on. So vinyl kit's really easy to put together. The, obviously everything is in the painting, so uh, it'll be a case of undercoating all of this. We'll wash it really well, because um, you can see all these shiny bits. Paint I'm gonna take to them, that's like release agent. Um, so wash it really well, and then I'm gonna glue the bits I can glue with just super glue, and I'll show you doing them. You can fill them, but most of them don't need it. This might need a little bit. Um, and then it will be undercoating, and then we'll have a, a nice paint job. Okay, so I've undercoated the kit uh, went together very nicely um, so what I'm going to do now is start painting so I can start with the face so we can get that looking anything um, so I'm going to use my normal Cadian flesh tone lightened down with a bit of uh, Vallejo light flesh um, I'm just going to get a new toothpick Okay, so I'm going to give me a couple of coats and we'll come back when that's done. Okay, well the shirt that Deckard's wearing in this one, because it's got a stripe across the front, I think it's this shirt. Um, so it's sort of a, a blue bottom brownish top rather than the polka dotty one he wears. Uh, and the blue I'm going to use is Kraken Blue. Probably take a couple of coats, this one.
Okay, so I've lightened up the blue a bit, give it a bit of texture. So now we're going to do the stripes. <clears throat> okay, so we've painted the shirt, so I've painted the tie. It was quite difficult with the tie, but it's kind of okay. The face is just about finished, just needs some gloss varnish on the eyes and lips. Perhaps a little bit more dry brushing on the hair. Uh, the jacket I've uh, added the shading in, so it's just some dry brushing on that. And then the trousers. Uh, just need a bit of dry brushing and then the boots need a bit of shading and dry brushing. So I'm going to finish those. Uh, the gun, um, I'm going to paint up separately, obviously, rather than glue it on first. Um, so we'll we'll paint that. I haven't got any enamels. I would have liked to paint the enamels, give it a nice tough finish. But uh, we'll see what we can do with acrylics. So what we're going to do is run some non non oil noodle noodle I don't know, uh, but it's like a, an oily wash. So we're just going to run some of that into the shoes. And once that's dried off, we can dry brush it. Now the gun colours. Tiny gun, bigger gun. Uh, I recently did a 3D printed one, so it's fairly simple. Uh, so I'm going to do that, and then probably some gloss varnish over it. Um, got two of them, so if one doesn't come out, the other one should. Well, I've finished the model, and I think he came out rather well. Uh, it looks better, I think bit of a better likeness painted up than on the box. Still very thin face and his eyes are very close together. Perhaps that's because he's a replicant. Um, lots of nice detail in it. The coat is very accurate. Um, I popped him on the base because uh, like Napoleon Wilson he doesn't stand up too well. Um, I'm glad I did the, the tie, it took a lot of time on that because that is sort of the centrepiece, it does draw your eye. Uh, the gun looks very nice, the Deckard Blaster. Um, you can soften the, use a hot water or hot air to soften the hands to get to grip better again than the box showed. So yeah, I uh, rather enjoyed doing that one, it's quite a simple build. I haven't done a vinyl in ages and I forgot how enjoyable they are because basically you're just painting, there's not a lot of construction. It was an old wall of a Dalek kit, I think. Well, if you want to see more Blade Runner stuff, let me know. I'll see if I can track down some more kits. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks again to Tixie Licks uh, for being my uh, first Patreon. So thank you for that, patron. I never know what you meant to say. Um, so please like and subscribe if you can. It does help the dreaded algorithm. It gets my stuff out there. Um, visit the Patreon page if you want to help out uh, a bit more financially. <laughs> um, but other than that, yeah, just thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, and I'll see you again next time. So, from me and Decker, thanks, then. Bye.